Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever just met friends that feel like old friends? If you're on the right street, you should see me. I, I, I think I see you. All right. So that was what Spillway was all about. You know, absolutely had a blast at Spillway. You know, met some people. I had a lot of members of the channel come out. Met some new people. Just had an amazing, amazing time. And, you know, some of the people that were there, you just like, you're like, hey, you just felt so comfortable. You know, first time meeting them in person. You maybe talked to them online, but it was just fantastic. One of those sets of people, if you look at this, I love stickers. So I got this Life from the Patio podcast. I love Big T and the guys. They were down there, had some good pours. I stole one of their small glow. I didn't say stole. I borrowed it unintentionally. I'm, it's headed back their way now. Um, but, I mean, we were having some great pours, and the Glen ended up in my pocket. And I even called it out of my video. <laughs> like I walked off with their Glen, so I had to get it back to them. So it's headed back their way with a couple other goodies. But one of the goodies that they sent me was this William Heaven Hill 17-year-old 120 proof. Man, and I love the little bottle thing on this. This is freaking awesome. So I'm going to be checking this out today. Looking forward to that. Also, we have a winner for the six pack, the Spillway six pack. So if you said that key phrase uh, in that video when we got to 2,222 members of the channel, got a winner for that. So that'll be towards the end of the video as well. But I'm going to dig into this. And this will also be the first one that I'm, I've been promising to do stuff for April to pair up different bourbons with different songs what they what that bourbon or what that rye or what that whiskey meant um in a song form and this was something that was inspired by mia uh, we met her out of 18th amendment a couple of weeks back big weekend this weekend heading over to it heading up to atlanta this weekend gonna hit some liquor stores gonna go to short barrel on friday asw rick house tour on saturday a lot of drinking and cigars and baseball games in between. Some great food. Going to hang out with a couple buddies. Looking forward to that. So looking forward to a great weekend. And so, and then the following weekend, we have our annual church barbecue, which is one of my favorite times of the year. So if you happen to be in the Columbus, Georgia area on, on that following weekend, you are in for a treat if you happen to come over that way. Just saying it is that Man, we can we can barbecue. I mean, it, you know that a church can barbecue when barbecue restaurants come to get your barbecue. Just saying, it's it's pretty dang good barbecue. But anyways, let me dig into this. Like I said, have I'm, I'm so excited about this. Like I said, in the professional way, they even had this wrapped up and stuff. This was so freaking cool too. Absolutely love that. I'm gonna have to ask them where they get that at because that is pretty freaking cool. Oh. So absolutely looking forward to this pour. You know, this is this will be Tuesday when this comes out. Excited about that. Got my bottle shop Glenn going on over here. Very excited. You know, it was something that was brought up in the comments. You know, because I said for, if you happen to catch the video for this next giveaway, I'm giving out the batch two of the K Luke, but in the comments, someone said, why don't you give out some of your own Knob Creek? And I'm like, you know what? Done. So whoever wins that one where you get the K Luke, you'll also get a pour of that Knob Creek, the one that I picked. Looking forward to that. Thank you for all the support for everyone that's reached out and got a bottle and stuff like that. They haven't been put into the store yet, but a lot of people have bottles headed their way. Thank you so much for supporting that. It, it means a lot to me as a person, but it also means a lot to a local business. Um, absolutely appreciate that. Man, there's something about when they get a little bit older, they get a lot of that leather and tobacco and a lot of that oak in there. But this kind of has a funky note to it that I like as well. 
So I, all the things I just called out, I'm getting. I'm getting heavy tobacco. I'm getting heavy leather. I'm getting some heavy oak in there. It's almost a, almost kind of an astringent smell to it as well. Man. So I'm I'm getting a little bit of a brown sugar on there. It's got nice legs running down the side, nice long legs on it. They formed up and they're slowly starting to work their way down now. Getting some cherry on the nose as well. Let's see what this has got on the palate because I'm getting a lot of the deeper, darker, back end of the palate savory stuff on the nose. Not getting a whole lot of sugars on the front. Just very, very light there, but I'm getting a lot of that deep, dark stuff. I bet you this would be great paired with a cigar. Let's see what we got. Man. So this has got some layers. What it didn't show on the nose, it's definitely showing on the front end of the palate. <clears throat> I got some nice cherry, got some really nice brown sugar on there. I'm getting some bacon spice going on. Man, it's got a nice little bit of a Kentucky hug to it, 100 and I think 20 proofer. But this is my first pour of the day. I'm very excited about this. So that brown sugar is now coming into the nose a little bit more. Man, that first sip was just a nice explosion. I've still got a really nice finish going on on it. So you do get that leather. You do get that oak on the back. But there's, like I said, there's some kind of a bacon spice thing going on with this as well. Man. I almost get a little bit of a... almost kind of a molasses type of a taste. It's kind of funk on the back, a little bit of like a molasses taste. That cherry carries through a little bit of like a baked good on it too. But then it kind of just goes into those deeper things. So you get a little bit of a dryness from the oak, but it's not super oaky and bitter for me at all. Of course, I kind of dive into... I like when things change. This has almost got a little bit of mementiness to it, which I kind of really like too. So it, it starts out sweet and then it goes into the dry. And then it's got a bit of a lingering bit on the back. A little bit of the tobacco I'm starting to kick in right now on it too. So I'm getting cherry. I'm getting some brown sugar. I get a little bit of molasses on there. I got some kind of a baking spice going on. But then I'm getting your... I'm some char, I'm getting some oak, I'm getting some leather, I'm getting some tobacco. So this thing's bringing a lot to the table. Big T and the crew, thank you again very, very much for this pour. It was so awesome meeting you guys. I can't wait to get your thoughts on some of the things that are headed your way. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And there's a little bit of a pepperiness going on with this too. It's not just the proof. It's something that hangs around a little bit. I'd say a medium long finish on this. Great mouthfeel. Great viscosity to it. There's just something about when you have some a bourbon that's aged the way that this is aged. It just makes it fun because you get such a different transition on things. And also on the uh, the nose, it's opened up quite a bit as well. And I know people are going to think this is funny too, but I really like it. It's kind of got that sarsaparilla black licorice type of thing going on in the back. 
with that molasses. So there's something really dark and funky on the back that I'm really, really digging on this. So excellent pour. I know that I'm probably not going to see a bottle of this unless I hit it in a local lottery, um, you know, or one of the drops in Alabama. If I happen to hit a lottery number there, it's going to be a lottery to get one of these. So it's so thankful when I have an opportunity for a pour like this that I can enjoy it talk about it a little bit and also kind of relive the moment because now I'm thinking back to Spillway, all the fun that I had there, you know, meeting all the amazing people, having some great bites, getting some good laughs, getting some great bottles, stuff like that. And someone won a six pack today. And I'm very, very excited about that. So the six pack winner for Spillway was Rebecca Johnson. Rebecca Johnson, congratulations. I'll be doing a short, uh, to, uh, Monday night just to kind of show these are the bottles and the pours that you're going to have with this. I'm excited that you want a six pack. You have one week to reach out to me. To, you know, I always give people a week. You want to be fair. They could be involved in work, have something going on in their life and stuff like that. But you got a week. After a week, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to put it up for drawing again. But I'm hoping I'll hear from you, Rebecca, within that week because it would absolutely make my day to let you enjoy some of the awesome time that I had at Spillway and some of the bottles that I brought back. Yeah, there is just something that's dark and funky about this. Really great pour. Like I said, I would love to have a bottle of this or a backup, but I know it's a lottery bottle. I know it's one of those bottles that if you have an opportunity, if you hunt really, really hard and you're involved in a lot of lotteries and things like this, you may get one of these a year. So when someone shares some, a pour like that with me, I'm very, very appreciative of it. And thank you very much. So live from the patio, you guys rocked on this one, Big T and Company. Thanks again. You know, I'm hoping as we all get into work right now, you know, it's the beginning of the week for a lot of us. I hope your work day goes by fast. I hope you're successful in everything that you do. I hope you bring great energy to your teams. And as you bring it through your teams that, that you guys do incredible things, you know, and when that, when that work time gets off, I hope you can sit back and I hope you can relax and I hope time just slows it down. I hope you have a great meal with somebody. I hope you have some time to reflect and do some things for yourself. Catch up with a neighbor call a friend you haven't talked to in a while have a conversation you never had with a friend just to kind of you know we get we get into ruts and routines with things that we just say hey i'm used to talking to my neighbor about this but maybe dig a little deeper and just say hey you know tell me a little bit about your childhood or why don't you tell me about the you know in school if did you play any sports or things like that because we all get wrapped up into things and i saw myself get that way the other day is that when my wife and I went out to eat with a group of friends, there's one lady there. She's a bourbon. She's a bourbon person just like me. So every time we get together, I'm talking to her about bourbon. But it gets, you know, but I'm always thinking I should have probably asked her some other stuff because all I ever ask her about is bourbon <laughs> when we get together. So I want to, you know, explore other avenues. You know, hey, what do you, you know, I, we talked about a little bit what she did for a living, how much she's been traveling, this, that, and the other. But also about some potential get-togethers and stuff like that for some bourbon heads and having a little fun and stuff like that. But like I said, I hope it just slows it down for you and have, have a great time. But most importantly all, cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.